Hello guys, welcome to the third video in the Email Hunter series. So in the last video, we built the link hunt where we extracted URLs from the website. So in this video, we will be building the email hunt where we extract emails from the website. So let's get started. So I'll just copy this down here. Because we'll be needing it. Then we import the URLs hunter we built the last time. So that is from link hunt. We import URLs hunter. So I'll go ahead and type, then I will explain what I did. we are through with the functionality let me go ahead and extend the function so up here we imported the packages we needed and here we included from link hunt we import urls hunter that's the hunter we built on the last video then here we created an input for the user to enter the urls they want to extract emails from then they save it we created the savers to save the email. Then here we call the function, the URLs counter function, and give it a, an argument, which is this new email, new URL the user entered. So it, it goes ahead and extract the, the URLs, then stores it to this uh, URL list. Then here we created a DQ list, and down here we created a, an empty set. So down here we created a while loop. So we are looping through the unscript. Then here we, we are popping off the queue inside the um, script. So we are popping off from the left. Then we assign the value we popped off to this URL variable. Then we loop to the list URL. That's the list URLs here. So here we call the function and give it this argument, the new URL argument the user entered. So after the, the functionality have extracted all the links inside the website it assigns it to this list urls so here we are looping through the list url and we created this variable base url then we assign the current link we are looking to to it then down here we try to get the current link we are looking to then down here we created the soup variable and assign the beautiful soup to it which i serve the argument the page content then the parser LXML. Then here we are just printing now the, the current uh, link we are crawling or we are extracting emails from. So down here we, we look we are looping through all the p tags inside the current uh, URL. So we are looping through all the p tags there. Then we did a try to handle any if in case if there is error. So we created a variable text email. We assign this uh, soup dot find all. So we are checking for all the p tags inside the URLs. Then we are getting all the text that is inside the p tag. Then we find this uh, new email set. So we are checking if the, the text inside the p tag here match this format. So this format is the email format we are trying to find. If any anything inside the p tag match this format, we just uh, uh, update our emails here. Then down here we the, we created the uh, data frame to store the emails. So here we are checking if the new URL does not start with HTTP. We created a new link. We add this HTTP to the link. Then down here we created a new column inside the data frame. Then we assign the current link we are extracting. Then down here we are saving the CSV file to our current directory. So if the new URL actually starts with HTTP or HTTPS, so we come down here and create a URL, then assign the new URL to it. Then we save to CSV. Then down here we checked if there is an error, maybe a connection error or timeouts error, then we just pass. Then down here, we actually repeated the same thing, but for the A tags, up here, we did for P tag. 
So down here, we are repeating the same process for the A tag. So we checked the text inside the A tag here. Then we try to match the URL format with the text inside the A tag. Then we updated the email and created this data frame and created the column inside the data frame and assigned the email. So down here, we check if the new URL does not start with HTTP or HTTPS. Then we created the link variable and assigned the HTTP plus the new URL. Then we create another column inside the data frame or append to link to it. Then we save the data frame as a CSV file. Then if this condition does not apply, then we do else. We just create a new column inside the data frame and save to CSV. Then we check if there is an error, then we pass. So down here, we print the emails. So now that I'm through explaining the code, let's go ahead and test if the code is working fine. So I'll pull over my terminal here and run the file. So I'll enter the name of the file, email hunt. That's file. So it's asking us for the URL. So I'll enter apexrise.com. So I'll save it as apex. So as you can see now, it's scrolling each of the URLs here. So it's searching the URL. Okay, so it's created a CSV file. And it's constantly updating after crawling each URL here. So now we are finished extracting the email from the website. I think let's go ahead and text one more site. So let me see. Tesla.com. I'll save it as Tesla. So now we are crawling the Tesla website in search for the emails. Let me go ahead and open the CSV files. You see the emails are being added. So now we are we are we just extracted the emails inside the Tesla website, which is very cool. So in the next video, I will show you how to build this code that we just built into the web app using the Django framework. So I will see you in the next video guys.